Lieutenant. Ethylic coma suspected. Yeah. Wake up, Lieutenant. Oh! It's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Me alone, this may be unfucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh my god, he's going to make out with us. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> yeah, he's just drunk off. Attack. <laughs> he's Zero attack, bro. Good boy. Three, two, welcome back. Wait. God damn it! What? I thought of something. No, 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 never mind. Go ahead. Welcome back, awesome people, to Cocktails and Consoles. It's Melissa, and you all remember this handsome gentleman. <laughs> I'm gonna be this video. We are back, finally! We have made it through Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, fuck Resident Evil 3. We are back with 4! And for 4, I decided to do something a little bit special. Because everyone always does the Leon campaign, we are doing the Ada campaign. And to celebrate that, I thought we'd go with a cocktail that, in the true spirit of Ada Wong, I am calling... If it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Or, it's because it's YouTube, the red dress. I was just gonna add, I think everyone does the Leon campaign because the one we're doing is Wong. Oh, that's so bad. Everybody? So anybody? Bad. Is it the Wong campaign? The Wong? Alright. So, for this cocktail, I went. Oh, he found us, he found us, he found us. He's projection face. Don't you. That just blew the tits off of Mortal Kombat X. Oh my god. Especially her tantalizing younger sister Lilibet. Isn't that just darling? <laughs> the bold choice to embrace the spinster lifestyle. Oh! The bold choice to embrace the spinster lifestyle pays off. The other matches all had differences of more than four points. So, with a jaunty laugh and a new chapeau on her- No! <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a little proud about that. <laughs> a last minute win! No man, but I won! I'll take it. <laughs> ah, this we can break. Um, break wall. <laughs> Scalpel. What? <laughs> I can't. What is? <laughs> this is made out of mithril. It's uh, fucking dwarf in the chat. What is up, every? Why do I keep doing this out of order? Hold, please. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, he is back! Oh my gosh, I have missed his friggin' face. Yes, the unmistakable desk-bound dwarf not only is back in chat. Should I tell him? Do you want to tell him? Yeah, well, one, he's not dead. Like, you you, you cannot kill this man. Not, not that I'm in inviting people to try, but, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can't keep a good dwarf down. Sure you can. Yes. He's come back to streaming! 
fuck yes! I am so excited. Unfortunately, we're not getting Ken, as far as I know. I think he's still making random appearances on uh, Apex's streams. But at least, Deathbound Dwarf is coming back to streaming on Twitch. He's going to be taking over the old arcade tavern, uh, sprucing it up a little bit, and shit, I forgot the name of- Can you post the link, please? Does he stream on- God damn it, I never get the fucking notification. Twitch, you suck balls! Do it better. Anywho. <laughs> you can't kill them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Holy Moses! Sorry, I just saw that in chat and decided to riff for a bit. What's up, guys? Happy... Not Monday. Yeah, um, I don't know what the hell's going on with, uh, the weather and the internets, and I couldn't figure out if it was YouTube shitting the bed or what, uh, but the internet decided it wasn't playing nice. Um, might not still be, but we're gonna try. Maybe we can live longer before the internet dies out. Thank you, Dwarven Citadel. Yes, that is the link to his channel. Hey, Finn on it! What's up, dude? First Lisa gets sick, then you hint that storm. Yeah, it tends to happen. Yeah, she's still doing well. Like, you can't kill this cat either. Not that I've tried. It's just... <laughs> this cat may outlive me. She's got... She's wearing the gray better than I am. Lucky little bitch. But yeah, she, she is doing well. And she hates when I talk to anyone else but her. Otherwise, she, she couldn't give it. Why am I talking to people?! Hi, how are you? <laughs> Holy Moses! Okay, let me catch up a little bit, uh, cause I, I screwed up my intro here. Oh, uh, we have a lot, lot of Wombat is still going strong. Yay! Oh, I'm so glad. I, I love that cat so much. Is she still, like, crazy? Cause I, I loved her for that. I, I, I kid you not, not only did was Wombat and Ninja, first of all, not related. Not at all, unless one of their fathers was a milkman. Um, not related, but they were fighting with each other the day that we were at oh, PetSmart, Petco, one of the two. But Wombat was also cross-eyed, and I saw that, I'm like, that's my cat! <laughs> She's still an idiot. Does she still try to escape to go outside? Just like, nah, fuck it, I own this city now. Oh, it was PetSmart. Okay, cool. Yeah, oh, so cool. Yeah, so... He actually wanted Ninja, I wanted Wombat, but because of my cat, I had to take Ninja because my cat and Wombat, no giddy along, like, at all. Like, she was not having it. So, yeah, but I love this cat so much. And Wombat is doing so great. No, somehow in the last year she's a lap cat. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so cool. She turned into a lap cat. Wow, it finally happened. That's a big lap cat. That's a Maine Coon. Uh, so, big cat. Uh, mostly fur, but big cat. Yeah, still a puffball. I can imagine uh, the allergies. Anywho, I gotta catch up really quick. What is up to? <gasps> Grats on first on Rumble, Emmy. Grats on first on YouTube, Pierre Kelly, Ama, and a wipe your nose on my hand, Andrew Ray, uh, Deathbound Dwarf, of course, Eight Bit Haunted, Sal. Uh, scrolling, 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 making sure I don't miss people, Andrew. Guy and all you wonderful lurkers out there, we are playing some Death Road to Canada. Which, god damn it, we have been getting our asses handed to us recently. Well, that's because you all are fucking sadists and masochists. I didn't know that people could be both all in one, but you all can, and it is amazing. Should I be making a rumble? I would say yes. Uh... However, if we're still under... Because I know you're taking over the channel, but I don't know if you're also taking over the affiliate program. Uh, if you make a rumble, you're going to have to get out of the affiliate program. No, wait, no, hold on. Um, I think Twitch changed that now. 
Check the T's, check the current T's and C's. Cause remember, Twitch before, if you were in the affiliate program, you couldn't dual stream. I think they recently changed that to where you can dual stream. Highly recommend uh, streaming on Rumble, because Twitch has not only gotten fucking crazy on what you can and cannot do, also the cam girl situation has gone. But so far, Rumble is one of the only free speech bastions that we have, so we are uh, dual streaming there as much as possible, because at a certain point, I'm sure YouTube's going to have enough of my shit, and we're going to be just streaming on, on Rumble exclusively. Um, I don't know, maybe I'd turn on Twitch again? I don't know. Um, not that it would be main, but just for people who like being on Twitch, just making that available. <laughs> OnlyFans. Yeah, pretty much. If you've seen recently, uh, they decided to go off the deep end and women were, um, yeah, all this exposed, but this just kind of, um, grayed out and not by much and yeah like just, just call a spade a spade twitch is the twitch is where you go for cam girls without looking like you're going for cam girls and twitch is where cam girls go to pretend that they're not cam girls i kid you fucking not there are times and you guys in chat have seen this too because i put the pictures up on um up in discord there are streams of just some dumb bitch just laying on her bed. All, she's not even looking at the camera. It's just ass and back of head. I don't even know if she's like interfacing with chat at all. That is the stream. But yeah, call yourself a gaming site. You're full of shit. Anywho, not you guys. Fucking Twitch. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got to catch up a little bit. I'm a little behind on chess. So, yes, we're going to get to the Zombify me in just a moment. So sorry. Um, would have been cool if the original Ari is if Krauser's... Yeah, I, I saw that in, in Discord. Again, this is why I hated the remake. It just... It fucking sucked. And now they're like, oh god, we don't know. We don't know if we can remake RE5. Oh, it would just... It just be so racist! I'm like, who the fuck was asking for a remake of five? People only like five in that they fucking hate six. No one wants a remake of five at all. You're looking for a way to try to squeeze out another Resident Evil title. Just god god damn it, remake RE0 if it's that problematic. Shut up, phone. Just the bullshit of <laughs> the gaming journalism has gone just fucking crazy. Sal's hashtag take that Tuesday got a hundred and fifty dollar tip and pizza for dinner. God damn, that's good. RE5 sucked. Fuck yes, it did. There were two moments, two moments in RE5 that were actually decent, and all of those had Wesker in it. You already fucked up Wesker. We don't trust you to do Wesker. You might do Chris okay. He looked all right in RE8. Um, but yeah, oh no, we, we, we can't have someone... We, 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 we can't have someone shooting black zombies. It's a zombie game, for fuck's sake. My God, they're asthma shit out diamonds. It is crazy. I'll tell you how weird Twitch is, there's one streamer who streams herself sleeping and people pay her. Is that shit still going on? It's it's crazy. Wow, Twitch is sad. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Dwarf, not to shit on the platform. Um, Because trust me, Dwarf would be here on YouTube if huh, one of the bitches from the original Gamergate wasn't a thing. Um, But... Yeah, so that's why I say, if you can get away with it with Twitch, if they've relaxed their rules, I highly recommend dual streaming on Rumble, because anything plays on Rumble, and it's great. Mm. Even though RE6 wasn't well-received, I enjoyed it more than 5. Same. I wasn't a, I'm not a big fan of 5, because I'm not a big fan of Chris. Chris is a one-note character. To a certain degree, so is Jill. 
Um, so you put both of them together and it's like, oh, this is boring. Yeah, it's like, ooh, we're cutting a bloody swat through Africa. Yay? Like, the only interest I ever had in RE5 was Wesker. And they did good on Wesker. Like, do not touch. Y'all fucked up, Ada. I don't trust you with Wesker. Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave Wesker alone! But I love RE5. RE5, it's not bad. It's not great. Um, and then, I mean, you guys saw when I made the, um, was it the RE7 cocktail? And I had that whole long dissertation on it. It got away from what made it great. It's no longer, it's supposed to be a, I wouldn't call it a pastiche, or what do you want to call it, or take on B-movies. They got so far away from it that the, when they tried to squeeze it in, the whole punching the boulder scene, this is why people mock that scene so much, is because it took itself so seriously up to that point and then it's like at the five yard line, they remember, oh yeah, we're a, we're a mock on B movies. And then had them punching a boulder. And that's why that frame looks really fucking weird. If they can get back to actually like B moving it up, I'm all for it. They're not going to do that. They're desperate for cash while pissing in the face of their customers. It's not gonna go well. Like, I don't want to be blackpilled on this, but I haven't been doing well. It's also silly. People want to complain about RE5 would be offensive or something. But I have nothing to say about RE6 taking place in a lot. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, you've heard, like, Asians are basically, like, the new white people, uh, according to them. And that should tell you everything you need to know about inclusivity. Um, yeah, zombies be everywhere. Of course they're gonna be in Asia. Of course they're gonna be in Africa! That's where you release a plague! Oh, that's right, I'm sorry, we're not supposed to... We're not supposed to talk about plagues and where they come from. Because, you know, racism. <laughs> Who designed this timeline? I honestly can't take it. It's fucking crazy. Hmm. Jake's campaign is good. I actually do like it. I, I like Jake as a character. They play the fiddle for him a little too much. But you you get those feelings of RE3 playing his timeline. Love it. Absolutely love it. Read the racism. Meanwhile, I'm here like, fix Shiva's AI already. Okay, they fix her AI. But, like, when have the... Okay, hold on. RE2 remake. RE3 remake. RE4 remake. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think on any of those we actually had, like, a companion character that, that's, like, actively, you know, shooting along with us and potentially using our ammo. Have we? Because I don't think they've proven themselves for that. Let me fucking move when aiming my weapon. Amen to that. But again, it's those old <coughs> tank controls told Desi you were live. She says hi. Hi, Desi! Hi, kids! Oh, I hope you all are doing well. People bitch about not being included, and when they are, they bitch about... Yeah, you can't make them happy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a problem when everyone's a prophet, and they're actively writing their own Bible. It's like, oh, all this stuff is not gonna work together. <laughs> Russ, what's up, dude? How are you doing? That's true. I actually could not tell that it was Troy Baker's voice as Jake at first. He did a good job on that one, which is, is saying something for Troy Baker, because most characters, it, it's like, he's like the Robert Downey Jr. of voice actors, in that Robert Downey Jr. is playing Robert Downey Jr. in every character. Same thing with Troy Baker, is the voice of Troy Baker in almost everything that he does. Did I miss it? Sorry. Hold on. I gotta catch up. Hmm. Snarks, take that Tuesday. My replacement car parts arrived a day early. FedEx actually did their job for once, and I hope to be back on the road by Thursday. Yay! Okay, let me scroll back. Sal, I got yours. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my god, is my old cooking channel still there? 
You know, weirdly, that channel does some decent numbers. See, I knew it. I knew cooking was gonna do well on YouTube. It's just, it takes so... When you're... When you're the talent. And the cameraman. And the audio. And the lighting. And the editor. It, it is not workable. I, I wish it was. I really did enjoy doing uh, the cooking stuff, but... Fuck, that was hard to do. Especially on a weekly basis. Trying to turn around a video in a week. Took a lot more than it did making gaming content. Okay, so I think, hopefully, I got all of the cells. Take that Tuesday, I got yours. Okay. Cool. Oh, dwarves, take that Tuesday. I made my first sword out of aluminum for an XMA event coming up. Cool! Dude, put that shit out there. That'd be awesome. Okay, why is my shirt doing this? This is weird. Calm yourself shirt. There we go. No kidding, the cooking show I did with Good X was a bitch to do, plus getting banned. You got banned in Germany? Making a cooking show? How the fuck did you pull that off? What, did you shit on schnitzel? Like, I don't even know how. That's impressive. Okay. Ooh. Kristoff in Frozen is a Sammy, but the name isn't. Uh, oh, gotcha. So we are playing some Death Road to Canada, where you guys get to be characters in the game. Let me go ahead and get our wheel up and running. Let me get my list up and going. Dooby 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 doo. So, if you would like to be a character in the game, if you want to put thank you hashtag zombify me. I will get this. Sorry if you put it in there earlier. If you did, if you can repost it. My chat is like kicking off tonight. It, it, it's awesome, but I, I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. Okay, Andrew Ray got you. Let's see here. Snark, thank you for not only being a sponsor, but for also being a mod. Emmy, thank you for being a sponsor. Deathbound Dwarf, thank you for being a mod. And yes, your character is still here. 8 bit haunted. I need to. I believe we still have your character, but I will double check. I believe we do. Um, but I just want to make sure. Sal got you. Andrew, thank you for not only being a sponsor, but for also being a mod. Okay. Me or the kids. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I got everybody. All right, so let me go ahead and click on over into here. Do, 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 do. Where is my... Yes, I got you, Emmy. Um, is it display capture? I think it's display capture. There's our wheel. Okay. So starting off with our leaders, we have Snark, Emmy, and Andrew. Oh, it's got, it drives me nuts when it does that. Emmy, Andrew, uh, no, let's do purple. I like purple. Okay, great. And spin. Look, it fits in the screen now. Andrew is starting us off tonight. And for followers, we have Andrew Ray in the spot. We've got Dwarf, we've got 8-Bit, and we have Sal, and Slipknotty! What's up, dude? Slipknotty. Alright, I believe I got everyone. Great! Booyah! Snark! Wow, okay. So we are starting off tonight with Andrew and Snark. If you did not get picked, do not worry because, uh, yeah, our, our folks love to um, murder themselves in this game. The game will continuously throw people at us. We don't get to control it after this point, but trust me, it knows that we need some help. <laughs> All right, let me plug in the ears. 
literally said let it be me and Snark so we die. What is wrong? You just want to play trivia tonight, don't you? That, that's what this is. I fully believe that's the case. Okay. Audio is doing all right. Let's go ahead and start. First of all, I want to make sure we have 8 bits. No, oh, custom characters. Load. Just because I haven't seen them in a while, and this thing does not sort properly, like, at all. Naughty, we got Sal. Okay, we need to create 8 bit. Alright, 8 bit, uh, male or female? see here. Let's make you... Ooh, let's make you a big bruiser. We haven't had one of those in a while. Who is also... <laughs> you are charming, but I'm gonna say oblivious for fun, because we haven't had one of those in a while. Alright. Male! Gotcha. Okay, good. Looks like you are already male, so we'll change up the face and the hair. Oh, okay, I cannot see your hair with that color. Ooh, yeah, let's go green. Oh, no. Um... <laughs> okay! <laughs> I love the face. Um, sorry, you guys can't see that. Ooh, you know what? That kind of works. We're gonna go with it. Save. Boosh! 8-bit haunted. With the most haunted smile I think I've ever seen. What are my traits? I actually don't know. Okay, so now we've got him in the game. We get new, empty, and game mode. Familiar. Good. Leader is, I do believe, Andrew. Doo -doo -doo. Once I can find him. God, I wish they'd love to sort this. That's the second Andrew. No! There he is. Buddy is Snark. I think you say he's always on page six. Nope, page four. Got it. Okay. All right, leader is Andrew, buddy is Snark, and game mode is familiar, and we start! Ooh, nice purple. Andrew hears rumors that Canada is a safe place free from the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from Winter on Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. You guys get to control our fate. Every time we come to one of these, everyone gets one vote per person. First option to get two votes is the one that we go forward with, except for this one, we hit the road. Start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You'll see and find ways to train and grow your team. Do we hit the rest stop? Do we hit the quiet hotel? Or do we hit Yo Mart? You guys vote in chat. One for rest up, one for Yalmart, two for Yalmart. We're going to Yalmart. Hmm. The group spots an abandoned Yalmart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. Um. Oh. Okay, you're gonna have to carry the flashlight. Shoddy? But, but everybody's shoddies. Ooh, I'll take that, and that, and that, and that, and get the fuck out of me way! Let's see, bathroom of death? Oh, bathroom of death! Yep. That's true, Andrew Ray. We, we do lose a lot of people. Wow. 
Lots of bathrooms of death. Okay. Well, we just got the um, shit genie last time, so probably not gonna get another one for a little bit. fucking face. Damn, look at the sunset. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather was terrible all night. Andrew didn't mind it that much. The group eats a decent meal. The group gets a peaceful moment to rest in a safe house. No zombies in sight. With the spare time, they decide to cool it, teach mechanic skills, or teach medical skills. You guys vote in chat. Well, I self-medicate. One for mechanic, one for medical, two for medical. Stark teaches Andrew what he knows about emergency medical care and semi-painless dentistry. The group reaches the cities and starts to rain. The drizzle seems to rile up the local zombos. Do we hit the restaurant? Do we hit the arcade? You guys vote in chat. As best he can do it with an ice skate. Yeah, exactly. One for restaurant, one for arcade, two for arcade. Yay. God, it's been so long since I've been to an arcade. Um, you know what? Since Andrew is a fan of the punchy, I'm going to give, <laughs> I'm going to retire Snark's old man cane for shoddy. Oh, baby. Quarter Eater Arcade. Wow, that's truth in advertising. Hi, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. This arcade machine seems to be working. It's not very clear how it can run without electricity. Andrew considers taking a video game break while he is guarded. We play. Andrew plays an old arcade game named Polybius. This really gets into it, like all video games ever made. Playing it increases your skills with gun. The critics were right. You know, I... I'm not gonna lie, it kind of helps. Like, my hands and my arms just naturally know where to go before I ever picked up a gun. Now, don't rely on that, but it helps. But the one thing that arcades never take into consideration is bullet drop is real, and it's a thing. Now, if you're trying to shoot someone within, like, 50 feet of you, you don't have to worry too much about it, but beyond that, yeah, you have to compensate for that. Because I don't use guns, I'm a martial artist. I just give everyone a gun. I'm an equal opportunist. The group finds an inn open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Give me ten food. I'll watch over to you while you sleep. <laughs> she is super creepy. Do we pay the ten food? Does Snark say, say it, don't spray it? Does Andrew haggle it to five? Or do we drive off with no sleep? You guys vote in chat. One for pay, one for say it, two for say it. Stark tells a woman to say it, not spray it. <laughs> you must be a big shot. I'll show you to the presidential suite. She kicks the group out. They eat on the road, but never find a secure place to sleep. Okay, seriously, what is up with this shirt? It is just freaking acting weird. Calm yourself, shirt. The road ahead has been flooded out, but it looks like the car could maybe still get through it. The group decides to take a detour, plow through it, or let's jump it. You guys vote in chat. One for plow, one for jump it, two for jump it. Whew, okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Richard's lots of makeshift ramp and has a spectacularly dangerous idea to try to jump the flooded part of the road. The car barely makes it, but sinks like an anvil and smashes into the ground. Chunks of car start flying in various directions. It took a beaten, but it's still running. Of course it did. It's a Volvo. Do they still make Volvos? Outside of Canada, blah, blah, blah. Let's visit and drink. We can talk to you now because you have the good stuff. Hi, I'm Shinobi. Don't you know me? Wait, that joke doesn't work well at all. Um, oh, we still have Zombo points. Wow, we got some fast ones. Eh, nothing good. Oh, it's Sob? Gotcha. Okay. It seems like Honda is the new Volvo. Like, they just never break down. Damn, dude. Get those gains. <laughs> it's your Nomi homie. <laughs> I love it! Boop! Mine. Okay, how did we come in here again? Oh, it's through that way. We haven't seen him in a while. He stretches, then he stretches some more. It's an elaborate stretching routine. We recruit. The group accepts Cody to the team. Cody joins the team. All you OG people in chat, say it loud and proud. <clears throat> Onward to Canada! There it is. Yeah! Electric car company that rose from Sob's unfortunate demise. Oh, that fucking sucks. The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but they get trapped by a roaming horde. Great. Yeah, what they're not telling you is that what it takes to actually create parts for an electric vehicle, probably doing more damage to the environment. <laughs> than actual gas-powered machines. But then again, it's really not about what's in the best interest of the environment. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Fuck. No! <laughs> You're wearing the shop collar tonight? Nice, Andrew. Oh god, can we run out the timer? Because this is gonna get kind of close. Yeah, now we're, we're fucked. Yes! Okay, good. Woo! Bye bye. Nevs has been heavily investing in making a more reliable and friendly EV. I mean, it's nice, but if they're still mining, like, lithium and cobalt, ain't good. Ugh. Oh god, look at the parts falling off of our car. The group feels inspired to managing to survive the situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for the group. Okay, when you guys vote, vote either random, strength, health, or medical. Hi, baby. Meow. One for health, one for random. Two for random. We're gonna do random. God, I gotta kill this drink. This is my small glass. And so I had to create my big glass for the stream, but this wasn't done yet. So now I gotta pound the rest of this because that one is melting. Candle maker, what's up, dude? Familiar with a game called Choice Chamber? No, but it sounds interesting. 
Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. That That is optimism right there. Let's see here. Morale, morale, morale. Andrew's shooting increases. Snark shooting increases. Cody's medical increases. Lovely. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop with busted machinery laying around. Oh, you just cleaned yourself, didn't you? This would be a great time to train with repairing things, but that would make a lot of noise. Do we just go to sleep or do we tinker all night? You guys vote in chat. It's a platform where chat can literally decide to vote. Really? <gasps> Fucking cool. Okay, hold on. Choice. Chamber. We may have to add that to the rotation. I love it. One for sleep, one for tinker. Doing good. Vote for sleep. Cool. Twelve driving days to Canada. Ah, ah, ah. I think we're about Tennessee. Stark makes mistakes while scouting a town and gets cornered by a large group of zombies while unarmed. He does it on purpose. He is trapped in an alley. At the end of the alley is a heavy garbage, is heavy garbage, and a large fence. Does he use his parkour abilities, or does he throw garbage? You guys vote in chat. Are we only at one like? Oh, oh, much sad. Not sure if commands can be tied to YouTube. Yeah, like Twitch has a better interface. Well, Twitch and oh god, what was the one the Microsoft platform? Um. That one had the best interface, and unfortunately that went under because they paid billions, not billions, but millions, for Ninja, which was stupid. One for garbage, two for garbage. Got it. Snark tries to fight the zombies off by throwing garbage cans at them, but doesn't manage to throw enough to stop their attack. Aw. Mixer! I, I had so much hope for Mixer. Like, it... Fucking Microsoft just managed to screw up everything. Oh, idiots. Like, what was the point? You have so much money. You bought Ninja, and then you're like, oh, we're gonna phone the platform. It almost seems like it almost seems like someone could not be that stupid that it had to be intentional. Anywho. While driving in the death road, groups has to make a stop for supplies. Do we hit the roadside rescue? Do we hit the UFO landing site? Or do we drive around some more? You guys vote in chat. Ah. They can always be that stupid. Yeah, I just... Uh, yeah, like... We're, we're, we're human beings. We're built in the image of God. And yet somehow some of us just act like fucking lemmings. It's amazing. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, so we're, t we're, we, we be tangling with the UFOs. Here we go. While driving through the woods, the group see the UFO amidst the trees. Woo! Watch out, there's something moving near it. The Tropicana, isn't that where Wayne Brady Let's Make a Deal was? W wouldn't surprise me. God, it's been so long since I've been to Vegas. God, I miss it. Um, okay. S Sorry, Snark. Poor Cody needs something better than a bone. Uh, Andrew is fighting with the fists. Yay! Join our party! Aliens exist for real. You know it, Alex Jones! The alien is a little busy at the moment. Try talking later if it survives the siege. All right, here we go. I will protect you! Because I fucking love your gun, man. Or woman, however you choose to alien identify. Do you think chemicals in the water can turn the frogs gay? They actually proved it. Um, testosterone is being reduced drastically. Probably not intentionally, uh, but yes. Uh, so understand, like, the shit that Alex Jones says is very hyperbolic, but the guy reads nothing but white papers all day long. 
so now he's horrible at communicating it. But generally, under what he says is a kernel of truth, and that has been proven to be true. The problem is, is that the stuff that's getting into the water table, like um, birth control, pee, and other things like that, um, does affect testosterone, which is basically boosting estrogen, which has been shown to turn frogs gay. By the way, he was the only person who predicted 9-11, so let's keep that in mind. Like almost to the letter. <laughs> well, you know what aliens say about penetration? True. It's for sure, we definitely have a testosterone problem. And not the way that mainstream media would make you think. Um, it's we're so lacking in it. Uh, sperm count is a real issue. Yeah, it, it could get bad. The siege is over. You can now try to escape. Good, you're joining our party. Aliens exist for real. You know it. The alien pokes Andrew with glowing finger. His brain is filled with information about how to open slightly more complicated unlocked car doors. The alien takes this opportunity. You punk ass! Yeah, avoid soy. Like, at all costs. Can we take his car? I want to take his car. The door slides open when and Yay! The Andrew, the alien car is impressive already. Fuck you, we're taking it! Looks like a suppository. You know, some things actually have been linked on, uh, leaked, I should say, on The Simpsons. Cody is a lightning rod, but for dogs! A dog approaches a group out of nowhere, it seems. Eager to join up. Ask love to join. The group accepts love to the team. Love joins the team. Everyone in chat, <clears throat> say it loud and proud. Onward to Canada! I should really learn to scream that in French. By the way, if the MIBs are real, I want me a noisy cricket. The group camps out in a big field. The group eats a decent meal. Uh, do we leave the camp or do we shoot the cans? You guys vote in chat. One for shoot. Actually, there's an interesting theory and one I can kind of get behind that some things that we think are aliens could actually be angelic beings. Because if you ever get around to reading the Bible, uh, the description of, a of angels, kind of terrifying. <laughs> Lots for shoot. Okay, we're going to shoot. The group gets some shooting practice by blasting the cans. A man in red long johns runs out on the field with a pitchfork. My cans, my precious antique cans. Oh, look what you've done to them. He shakes his pitchfork and he yells. Snark couldn't give a shit. Ha ha. Oh, did I show the picture? Yeah. Fucking trippy, right? Oh god, I can't wait till the AI Bible is done. I want to see pictures. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Do we hit the grocery store? The deadly Yamart! Aren't they all? Or drive around more for zero gas. You guys vote in chat. One for Yalmart. One for grocery. Two for grocery. One for vodka. We're going to the grocery store. The group finds a grocery store. Zombies wander inside as if guarding the remaining food. We are 
fighting with love on our side. Fury, my man. Pow! Give me. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, poor doggo. Damn. And just going straight rocky on these guys. Drago. Oh, please, Drago. Fuck, he's hot. Okay. Normally not into blondes, but damn. That man had a chin that could chisel glass. From what I heard, actually, like a really decent guy, too. Like, helped out homeless people. Really cool. Boop. Damn! You just straight exploded the guy. Oh yeah, I've heard he's like fucking genius level IQ. Crazy. Give me my card. Thank you. I can't think of his name either, but I can see his face like fucking perfect. Yeah, and that chisel. Damn. The group is blocked by another survivor group that sets up a barricade to protect themselves. They are distressing and heavily armed. Are they in the desert? The person they send to talk is extremely annoying. Who should try to deal with them? Cody. Andrew, pick someone else or take a detour. I yeah, Ivan Drago, thank you. Dolph Lundgren, yeah. See, that's how God has to balance it out. Like chisel out of frickin' Onyx man. Name you can't scream in bed. So that's that's balance in the world. Alright, one for Andrew, one for Cody, one for someone else, two for someone else. Are we sending love? Are we sending love to solve our problems? Who should try to deal with the annoying person? Snark, Cody, Andrew, or love? You guys vote in chat. There's one for love. One for snark, two for love. We are sending love and vodka, but mostly love. Drink one, done. Drink two on deck. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> it's so funny my sister can't do this. Poor girl. Love talks to the annoying representative. He isn't supposed to be capable of speech, so he mostly just licks himself. Ew. The dingus is really insulted by being made to talk to a dog, but the guards are amused. They let the group through. Yay! Okay. Oh, gotta mix this water. The group sets up camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them. We'll probably attempt to loot the place. Send one person in to loot. Do we send love? Do we send Cody? Do we pick someone else? Or do we let them have it and avoid trouble? You guys vote in chat. Ciao tutti! Lukaku! How are you, my friend? One for Cody, one for love. Two for love. Because all you need is love. The other members stand guard outside for the looters as love searches the grocery store. Love brings back some food. Aww. Still remember that. What was it? Um. God, I can't think of the movie now. You guys will know the movie. I'll give you the line. Uh, it's, it's something like the greatest thing that we do... Or the best thing that we do is love. Fuck, I can see... 
What is that movie? Oh, sorry. It, it, it's driving me nuts right now. Um, it's a Christmas movie. And I can't think of the name. Bandits appear all wearing sweatbands and all super buff, even their dog. They demand protein powder. Do we pay the toll of 15? Does Snark challenge them to a pose off? Does Snark tell bandits to cool it? Or does Cody ask, what's up with the outfits? Let's see. One for Cody. One for cool it. That is a good song. One for Pose Off. God damn it, what? It's like four relationships. And I can't think of the name of the damn movie. Okay, lots of posing off. So we're gonna pose off and we're gonna pray. Thank you, Emmy. Okay, dear Lord. I know that Snark is in a huge rush to meet you, but if you could delay his actions just for a moment um we would love for him to you know not drag us along to meet you right now uh and instead let us colonize canada for a little bit and you, you know and, and then we'll meet you but first you know the, the colonization and then meet you Okay, here we go. Four weddings and a funeral. It should have been called that. Uh, love Actually! Oh, fuck. That's what I should have named the stream. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Hold on. Can I do this live? Let me see if I can do this live. Oh, I can! <laughs> well, I can do this on YouTube. I don't know if I can do this live on Rumble. Love... Actually, oh no, I gotta do this. Actually, <laughs> boosh, which should have been four weddings and a funeral. I completely agree. Okay, sorry, that's right. Oh, pose off. Here we go. Oh my gosh, did you do it? Snark challenges the bandits to a pose off. Snark loses the pose off. It's humili- Oh, you you tend to do that. It's humiliating, and the bandits take a lot of supplies as punishment for the Hoovers. Snark is now Job. Sorry. It's okay. He he will fill in the spaces, but you know, humility first. By the way, if you think this is being snarky, no, I'm going through- I, I'm in the valley myself right now. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Uh, do we hit the coffee shop or do we hit the apartment with the bark banner? You guys vote in chat. One for bark, two for bark. Um, well, I guess we can replace Cody if we pick up one. Hold on. Ugh, gotta move over my camera here. There we go. God, I love this car. Vision! Oh, damn it. Die! Ooh. Woo! Okay, Andrew might be Dolph Lundgren. Who knew? Doggo! Damn it, where are you? One, two, three, four, close the door. Before my mother yells at you. For wasting electricity. Damn it! One, two, three, four, close the door! Oh shit, here they come. Um, what the? Oh, he has a gun! Never seen a more impressive wiener dog! This must have been a show dog, but papers. The dog is also wielding a shotgun! His color reads Little Sam Biol. Sam Biol's shooting revealed to be fucking impressive. Sam Biol's wits is impressive as well. You may follow us, good sir. Sam Biol starts following Andrew. He could be useful if he can get him out of here alive. 
I ain't reading the rest because we're getting him out of here alive. Fuck yes, do it. All of you fucktards get out of my way. I got a dog with a gun. Catches up with the group at a safe spot. He seems like he wants to stick around. Love sizes up his skills. Uh, not great at medical. He's a dog. Not great at mechanical. He's a dog. Uh, his strength and fitness is meh. He walks on four legs. Um. Love's wits. No, that should be the dog's wits. Okay, do we recruit or do we set him free? You guys vote. One for recruit. Uh, we can toss Cody because he's not in chat. Ah, oh, yeah. Odd car. We got it from the alien. Two for recruit. Fuck yes! The group is full. Who would you like to replace? Sorry, Cody. Cody gets booted out of the group. Oh, I have hiccups. Cody gets booted out of the group to make room for Sam Buell. Sam Buell joins the team. Say it loud and proud! I want to Canada! That might have been a note that dogs could actually hear. The stream has gone to the dogs. <laughs> Campgrounds of the group sets up smells terrible. As far as the smell is a complete mystery, do we endure the smell or drive up with no sleep? You guys vote in chat. I won't see this on fall, it's on wood! Is that French? I don't know. One for endure, two for endure. The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. Oh, we need food. Nine driving days to Canada! Ah, ah, ah. Samuel's body is affected by the stress of this hopeless situation. You have a gun! There's a large, hor large horde of zombies on the road ahead. The group isn't sure if they could get through them or not. Do we seek shelter in a house? Do we take a detour? Or do we plow through? You guys vote in chat. One for plow. <laughs> French. I surrender! <laughs> wow, lots of plowing. Okay. Oh. You, you, you did a great once. Can you do it again? The group decides to try to drive through the horde. The car gets hurt, but takes some damage. Thank you. out of nowhere and mauls love in a flurry of snarling and teeth love is killed realizing what he did the dog flees and never return you know you know Oh, we have zero food. This is great. Okay, cool. Hi. Officer Dan is hanging around the camp. He's been waiting for you to show up. We recruit. Officer Dan is glad to be back. Officer Dan joins the team. Say it with me loud and proud. Onward to Canada! Yeah, wow. <laughs> it's just... It's amazing. Hi. Can you give us stuff? <laughs> I'm Tanomi. Don't you know me? Do we? 
I think we need some food. Thank you. Who are you? Okay, there's a monster out there named the Garf. Okay. Um. Oh, that's a lot of death. <laughs> nice, Andrew. <laughs> Don't worry, we will be doing another shock collar stream. I see, I couldn't even do it if it was an RE5 remake. There would be nothing for me to roid out about. The group is driving through the ruined city when they end up being surrounded at all sides by a horde. They are funneled into the only place that looks defensible. A ruined mall! Let's try to survive. Thank you, Emmy. Yes, we shall pray. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I know we're getting the, um, oh, what is it? The Samson? No, no, no. Samson had his hair and the strength. David and, Go we may be getting the David and Goliath treatment right now. So just tell us, like, if, what jawbone we need to pick up and throw. And that magically just opens up a crater in the earth. Because you do some great things. But they also make it look like you are just whacked out on some amazing drugs. But also so does a platypus. So maybe that's just how you work. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anywho. Um, let's give Officer Dan the gun. Okay. Oh, do we have two of these? Oh, I guess we do. Cool. Oh, good night, you've been haunted. Yes, we will be doing one for Contra. Oh, pretty. Oh, damn it. Oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 this is so much bad. So much bad. Oh, but Chris is older now. Ah! Come help us. Did I just sentence all my people to death? I think I did. No, 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 no. Hi. Yes, ready to rock. I know it's sad that there's no co-op. Because the previous one had co-op. So I remember doing that with Ken. That was fun. Even though I totally did not help him at all. I suck at Contra. The first time that I ever got exposed to Contra, it was a guy that I dated because he had, uh, like what, what platform was it that Contra was originally on? My parents would never let me have a console system, so I had to keep dating guys to access to console systems. I hope they think that was a great trade. Um, but that being, I missed out on a lot of Nintendo, a lot of SNES. Wow. There's none of the guns. Okay. No, oh, we just lost someone. Who we lose? Well, we're back to Andrew and Snark. Oh, we lost Officer Dan! I had to tinkle I just walked back in on. Um, how much my dating life was fed on who had a console and how much I suck at those games because I never got to play them. The group feels inspired, demanding to survive the situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Do we take morale and random, a fitness, mechanical, or medical? You guys vote in chat. One for medical, one for mechanical, two for medical. We're gonna take medical. When it comes to zombie first aid, practice makes perfect. Okay, well, it's gonna be Chris and RE5, but have conflicts. That's how we got Roger. I mean, one of the nice things about Chris is that really he could be any voice. Uh, Leon, to a certain degree, could be any voice. Um, 
Wesker can only be one voice, and that's where they fucked up in four, but again, the whole... What, what was it? Not the standoff. The, um... So the strike apparently affected that. Also affected Ada, which Ada can only be one voice, and I will defend that to my dying day. Alright! And the group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go and none are heading to Canada. Do we camp with them? Does Snark tell them to cool it? Or do we drive off with no sleep? Let's see, one for camp, one for cool it, two for camp. Hey, Sam, what's up, dude? I was able to purchase two dice from Tropicana that is used at the craps table. I don't know how to play craps. One of these days I'm gonna have to learn. With matching serial numbers to go with my one from Bally's. Nice! The group takes a risk and goes to sleep in the crowded camp. In the morning, the other groups are gone and supplies are missing. Oh, great. Oh, he revealed stuff about RER4. That sucks. It's Jenna! It's a nicely familiar face. She pokes the dirt with a stick. Maybe she's drawing plans. Maybe just poking the dirt with a stick. We recruit. The group accepts Jenna to the team. Jenna joins the team once more with feeling. Onward to Canada! Still, I mean, like, Wesker is Wesker. You. You need that voice. The car is broken down from use and no it's not, it's a fucking alien car. It won't start up again. Do we abandon the car? Does Andrew attempts to fix it? Or does Jenna punches the car? Apparently we're on the they them. Um you guys vote in chat. Please let me die. <laughs> One for fix, one for punch, two for fix. Good call. Andrew pops the hood of the car. He completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. The group didn't have nearly enough food to eat. Oh, lordy. We are in the valley. While walking through the woods, Jen doesn't pay attention to where she's going and falls into a deep puddle of water. Her gear is fully submerged, putting supplies in danger. Shit. While walking along a dirt road, Andrew thought he spotted a car in the distance, so when he got close, he realized it was a giant rock. What a shame. Kind of like the actor that plays Spider-Man did during a live stream. He accidentally showed the movie poster to the future movie. Wait, was this Tom Holland? Who apparently cannot be trusted in a, um... What do they call that thing? It's not a mixer. Uh, it's like a press tour or something like that. Junket! Like, apparently he's not allowed to be at a junket by himself anymore. Andrew spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover a car that looks suspiciously like the car they had started their journey in. Andrew takes the keys he kept from the old car and sticks it in the ignition. It starts! Bandits have blocked the narrow road ahead with their cars. Their leader, Lord Humongoid, speaks. Just walk away! Give me your car, your oil, the gasoline! I will spare your lives! I await your answer! Do we give up the car and all the gas? Do we refuse and fight? Does Snark tell the bandits to cool it? Or do we plow through them? You guys vote in chat. Oh yeah, if they got Courtney Taylor back as Ada... I would play it just for that. But this is how much they suck at doing remakes, and I don't trust them anymore. RE2 was their pinnacle. One for fight, two for fight. Hi! <laughs> Remember us? We're gonna try this again. Um, yeah. If you wouldn't mind <laughs> sparing us one more time, that would be great. Oh, I know how eagerly the people in our party are willing to meet you, like, right now, but in the interest of keeping the stream going a little longer. Woo! What are we doing? We're fighting. Um... <laughs> The group knows that every single one of their supplies are essential for their chances of reaching Canada, so they fight! Yeah, 
what? Like, that's my whole thing. We've gotten away from what made Ari... Ari... B-movie-ish. And, and like, I'll give him credit. Ari 2 Remake was good. Needed a little bit of the campiness. But you can't... Oh, God, cat hair. You can't keep that going through now RE3, RE4. Um, God, I heard they're remaking RE1 again. Like, you gotta bring back the campiness. While driving in the Death Road, decides to make a stop for supplies. Do we hit the Prepper Cabin, the Dead Arcade, or drive around some more? You guys vote in chat. One for Cabin, one for Arcade, two for Cabin. Oh, that's in April. F okay, good. Yeah, they they would just screw themselves over if they remade one. Like, leave it alone. It's perfect. Uh, Cabin. Andrew knew some people that became crazy preppers long before the zombies happened. Their cabin is located nearby and still fairly early in the day. See, this is why I don't like reading news on April 1st, because you just can't trust anything. Oh my god! <gasps> Rusty in the shit! Yes! Oh my! Hi. Woo! No, God! I mean, honestly, just the original. Nothing is better than the RE1 original. Not even the remakes. It needs to be campy. It knew what it was, and it just drove that lane straight. The group finds a cabin in the woods, but no zombies inside. There's a wood stove in it, but no wood. Do we go out and chop wood, or do we just go to sleep? You guys vote in chat. One for sleep. One for chop chop. Two for sleep. Seven driving days to Canada! Ah, ah, ah. Thank you. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> I did the wrong voice. The group finds a gas station off on the main road. Someone has looted the store and there's no zombies in sight. The gas pumps are old and don't seem to be functioning. Do we leave the pumps alone? Does Snark attempt to fix pumps or does Snark crawls into tank? You guys vote in chat. Seriously, what the fuck is up with this shirt? It is just... It's giving me pancake boob and it's driving me nuts. One for fix, two for fix, lots for fix. Snark attempts to fix the pumps. He tries, but gets nowhere with them. Storm descends on the group in the pouring rain. The zombies of the city search for the living. Do we hit the police station or the bookstore? You guys vote in chat. Sorry, I've been watching a uh, clip streamer. Uh, ooh. I love, but like you gotta be really ready to be offended. Um, and he shared oh some porn that will haunt me till the end of my days. That has turned me off of pancakes, unfortunately. One for bookstore, one for police station. Two for police station. I kind of figured you guys would pick police stations. Ooh, ooh, liberating houses! Yay. Damn it. Close the door. Before my mother kills you. Woo! Damn it. Yeah. Why are we missing someone or 
Do we only have three people? Booyah! Oh, damn it. Machete, you are really letting me down. Oh, no, that's right. We lost Officer Dan. That's what it was. No, nope, leave me alone. One, two. Oh, three. Okay, good. Oh, here we go. Hi! Well, what do we can do with the phone? Oh, damn. Okay, that was a crit. Ah, uh, bathroom of death. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Die. Ooh! No! No! Night! Fucking bathroom of death! No, you were supposed to die! Okay, this police station sucks! Hi, Revolver! Katana. You have to remember one thing when watching the Naked Gun movies. Um, we didn't know that O.J. Simpson was fucking whacked in the head. So just keep that in mind when you watch them. That was before the White Bronco. Dude, Leslie Nielsen makes everything better. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire! Do we plan an escape? Do we run out now? You guys vote in chat. Dude, airplane's so good. Oh. Weirdly, they're remaking Beverly Hills Cop. I don't know how I feel about that yet. One for plan, two for plan, we plan escape. Who plans and leads the escape? Snark, Jenna, or Andrew? You guys vote in chat. Dude, Top Secret was so good. <laughs> Val Kilmer as a comedic actor. Oh, God. He, he missed his calling, man. One for Snark, two for Snark. What the shit? Well, Snark just met the Lord. Snark tries to keep calm and observant. He keeps very calm. He goes the wrong way. The group gets burned. The group gets away. The group eats a decent meal. Which might have been Snark. Anywho, we're continuing on. Six days to Canada! Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, he's with Jesus now. <laughs> Witness me! <laughs> Hard to say that without a jaw. While driving in the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Do we hit the cabin rescue, the barn rescue, or drive around some more? You guys vote in chat. <laughs> oh my god, didn't it sell? It's so good. One for barn, one for drive, two for drive, we're gonna drive. The group decides to burn some gas in hopes of finding more interesting places. They find some new locations. Do we hit the junkyard with the car, the quiet farm, 
or keep driving past you guys vote in chat one for cabin one for farm two for farm we go to the farm the group finds a farm it looks like it was abandoned in a hurry long ago there should be some field tools left behind I know, right, Sal? <laughs> the part that pisses me off is like, that only goes one way. You don't find women transitioning to be men to compete in men's sports. However, you do find men who slum it in the women's competitions, and oh wow, they're suddenly making record everything. But no, don't you question it, because that's, you know, transphobic and, and, and stuff. By the way, Leah Thomas still dates chicks. driving while drinking might not be a great idea. We might end up in Hawaii. Why don't we colonize Hawaii? Again. Yeah. Well, I mean, it'd take a long time from Florida. Shit. Um, Because then we have to drive all through the desert, get to California, and then get to Hawaii. That'd be a long trek. Also, how are you doing, Red Pill? nice see familiar face. He's being thrown out by his former group. They seem pretty angry about it. We recruit! The group accepts 8-Bit Haunted to the team. 8-Bit Haunted joins the team. Say it with me loud and proud. Onward to Canada! Yes, thank you, Andrew. Look at that smile. <laughs> the group finds a professional car garage. The sign says car pros. They find some gas and lots of scrap metal. Just need time to tinker. Do we car repair and tune up? Do we drive away? Or do we repair and armor the car for two days? You guys vote in chat. Just grinding an EQ and now at 170 pounds lost. Congratulations, dude. One for armor, one for repair. How have the devs not spoken to you now? <laughs> Considering your dedication to the game. Would be cool, not gonna lie! <laughs> one for tune-up. I think that's part of repair. We're gonna repair. 8-Bit Haunted tries to repair the car and hopes it goes a little further before breaking down. He has idea what he's doing and waste a day's time pretending to work on the car. The car has seen better days. The car looks all beat up but still sturdy. Probably because I think they've made all the money on this game that they're gonna make. I would love to know what new games- god damn it shirt. I would love to know what new games that they are making because I love their concept but I, I keep- I, I, I looked up Telltale games today. Because it weirdly showed up in, like, my Instagram or something like that about, um, Wolf Among Us 2. Like, it was two years ago that you announced this, and it's still not out. Anywho, it gets late and there's no great place to camp, so the zombies hobble around the far distance, so one might sneak up on the group while they're asleep who should stay on watch. Andrew, 8-Bit, Jenna, or take shifts, you guys vote in chat. It's gonna be 8-Bit. 
Hi, what? Your chair is right here. Meow. Don't you sass me. You threw up on the carpet today after I got you a feeder to specifically stop that. 8-Bit Haunted Stands Watch for Roving Zombos. Oh, by the way, oh my god, Deathbound Dwarf, have you played Helldivers 2? It, I, mwah, it's so good. It's so good. You manage to stay awake but feels groggy in the morning. I would live stream it, except I suck at it, so I don't know exactly how to make it funny or entertaining, but you would totally love it. It's on my list. Yay! And it's catch the group by surprise in a really terrible spot for them to fight in. <gasps> oh, excuse me. They demand that all food and half of the supplies are handed over. Your money or your life or your hiccups. Uh, do we offer a compromise? Or do we run for it? You guys vote in chat. I still wish the time loop expansion would come out. I know, right? One for run. Two for run. No! Well, we lost Andrew and Jenna. 8-Bit is last alive. And very happy about it. <laughs> 8-Bit Haunted continues making progress, blah, 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 Trader Camp, and we have no food. This is great. Um, uh, hi, I'm Snowy, don't you know me? Um, yeah, I think we need some meds. And we've got nothing else. Cool, okay. <laughs> And our little Vovo with the wood paneling, which always looked weird to me as a kid. Ape been Haunted tries to evade a large horde. Locked by debris, he gets stuck in a Yomar parking lot. He's gonna have to fight here for a while. Great! Um, let's see here. Let's give you a melee. Thank you, Emmy. Yes, little prayer. Hi! So... First of all, I hope you're having fun hanging out with 80% of our team so far. We're heading into our final encounter. I don't know how you would like this to turn out. Maybe you kind of want them to all be like, Yeah, you know where it sucks. Come enjoy heaven for a bit. Which is cool, because we can always go to trivia. Or if you're like, No, Canada must pay! I will leave that up to you. You kind of know how this stuff works. We're not supposed to know, the sun didn't know, only you know. So, let's roll the dice, shall we? Cool. See you later. Alright. We're gonna give you the sword. Um, good old shoddy. And, yeah. Let's, well, let's use a little crotch gun, because I love them. They're so cute. Yeah. Walking into the lion's den, Daniel didn't know if he was going to survive either! But then again, he got to hang out with really cool kitties, and we have the undead. So... I feel like Daniel fared a little better. Just saying. I know, I'm not supposed to be picky. Um... But, yeah, I'd rather play with the kitties than the undead. Oh, damn it. Woo! But then again, Daniel didn't have a cool shotgun, so... Sucks to be him! Okay, get out, get out, get out! Yeah, you're awesome! Okay, we're gonna hit the road. Oh, barely made it too. Damn. 
Keep in Holly feels inspired after managing his father's situations. Feel like the hang of this. Do la 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 la. Does he take morale and random, or does he take shooting? You guys vote in chat. One for morale, one for random, two for morale. Probably needs it unless he's on the IN side of the um, spectrum. Every day is great teacher as long as you not eaten. Uh, his strength increases. Cool. Eight bit haunted is sitting around the campfire. Finding the campsite was rough. He's getting in a bad mood. Does he sing a song? Or does he plan out tomorrow? You guys vote in chat. One for sing. Two for sing. We sing song. 8-Bit Haunted tries to keep spirits high by singing. Whether or not singing any good mostly depends on attitude. Four driving days to Canada! Ah, ah, ah. 8-Bit Haunted stumbles upon a swoll of legs. Home strength and fitness machine. TM. You don't see these much anymore after all the lawsuits against it and the government ordered recalls. Using this alert. Uh, do we stay away from it? Or does 8-Bit Haunted use Swole Flex? You guys vote in chat. One for use, two for you. Oh yeah. We're, we're gonna break them. And what they say? Here he comes. Here's 8-Bit Haunted. Hey, sometimes I can read them. Most times I can't, but sometimes I can. The machine starts his patented automated total body building regimen. 8-Bit Haunted's body makes audible snapping and crunching sounds. How horrifying! 8-Bit Haunted is killed. A little speaker on the machine says, No refunds! No one left to drive. God, journey to Canada is at end. That's fine because we are going to play one last game of Trivia Murder Party. Because, god damn it, I get Fedora over state line. Wait, what are we doing? Ah, okay. Fit screen, please. Thank you. Yes, pray for hat. Indeed. All right, let me get my screen up here. If you would love to play with us again, this game is also free to play. Just go to jackbox.tv. Unfortunately, you do have to log in with your Twitch account. Um, I'm... Unless this is our other Monday, and the other half of it where we're exclusively on Rumble, which anything flies, you can sign in as anything, uh, and then you wouldn't have to. Also, more reason why Rumble fucking kicks ass. Yes, I always pray for hat. Okay, code is I-O-Q-M. Yay! One, two, three, four, five spots open if anyone would love to play with us. Like I said, completely free to play. All you have to do is unfortunately log in with your Twitch account. Sorry. Four spots open if anyone would love to claim. Going once. Going twice. Let's do this. Oh shit, sorry, little cock 
can you can still join. You'll be in the audience, but you still get to play. Hold on, I'll put the code in chat. Code is I O Q M. Welcome to my murder hotel. I've been told you don't like tutorials, so now I'm extra mad. First question. Who is Luna? Uh, in Use what your device context? to answer the question. That means the audience, too. Oh. Almost out of time. <laughs> and the correct answer is... Who got the question How is that right? Roman? That is not... No. No. The rest of you, follow me. That's Celtic. Welcome to room 101. Also a black cat, it's not yes. Smoking. Now we learn obedience. No. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. Yes, Goddess of the Moon, too. but that should have been Celtic more than anything else. Follow more rules than you, I will kill oh, you. Fuck, Snark kills me on this. And it's already begun. The rules are on your device now. Sometimes I worry that I say the word rules too much during this game. Rules, rules, rules. Yeah, maybe I'm overthinking it. Rule time is coming to an end. Damn it. Aw, he tried so hard to follow the rules, which was like super cute, but it just wasn't enough. Gun? Oh, God, I was crucified. Oh, that's fitting for Easter. I'm not comfortable with silence, so I talk during elevator rides. Cool. Let's oh, try another I one. I hate yellow. Which of these is a sweet noodle casserole? I know this one! <laughs> I've always wanted to try it. Also weird sugar and pasta. No. <laughs> Time's running out. Who picked this? The rest of you. It's weird, it's isn't time. it? It's like, no, it should just not go together. Welcome back to the killing room. Presents? It's Ugh. magic time. Pick a space in this box to hide yourself. I would say don't get too comfortable, but I feel like that's obvious. <laughs> choose now, or I'll choose for you. <laughs> right, Snark? I hate it when people are too lazy to pick their own place to hide. <gasps> I guess I'll just put you here then. Are you telling it's time me? It's for the volunteers. Good news, I'm giving you a sword. On your device, oh, choose a I mean, row or a column to run okay. your sword through. I, I can't because I know where you are. Slice, slice! Oh, I needed that. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> Pilot is played by M. Bison? Really? That's my parents always fitting. discouraged my desire to become famous. They said that's how serial killers get caught. They never really got me, you know? Oh, Let's keep I love moving. this hallway. If you searched your heart, what would you find? <laughs> that's not what I would call it, but okay. <laughs> 
this. Should be an aorta. This. Oh, son of a bitch. Only a ghost got it wrong. I'll have to kill my writers. Good. Let's try another one. Who's the Hindu god of time? Shit, I actually don't know. Two atrias and two ventral. <laughs> what happened to aortas? That's a thing, right? Time's on the stash. I, I honestly don't know. Who picked? God, this. that was gonna be the second one. One of you is still alive. Wait, Time no, for Ganesh is the god of death, right? Fuck. And that's the part at the top? Ah, uh, the lost art of letter writing. Oh! I'm going to dictate a message to you. Okay. Write down as much of what I say as you can. Sorry about this Everyone if you're on your phone. Everyone else will be typing too. And if anyone does a better job than you, you die. <laughs> Get your typing fingers ready because okay. I'm starting right now. Dear person who is behind me in line at the coffee shop. I am sorry you knew what you wanted, but we're frustrated that I was taking a minute to decide. Some of us prefer to live in the moment. Now you will die in a moment. Look out your window. Time's up. Okay, I know. Let me just um, collect your letters. And... and here's how you did. But did anyone <gasps> do better than you? Oh, damn, I'm Andrew Ray. Those magical fingers? Kitty? A oh, dude, I love typing of the dead. It's one of my most favorite games. Because <laughs> it's the only game I'm good at. We're here. The final round <laughs> Daddy's is and close. Giggity. Brings Next back question. memories. What is the root of suffering? That's a good question. Uh, Latin or medieval Latin? What's the difference between Latin and medieval Latin? Almost out of time. Oh, thank you, Andrew. Who picked this? Son of a bitch! I was gonna pick that. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Come with me. God damn it, women have no intuition, I swear. It's my old friend, the loser wheel. Spin -hoo. What's more fun than watching spinning? Yeah, I did love the, the typing games in school. Those were so fun. Bazinga. Oh, crucified! Was it... Valeris? Valandris? Ah, crap, I killed everybody. No, 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 wait, no. He I wasn't put I'll up on the cross. It's kind of arbitrary, because but they you said the you money. can either vote out oh, Valandris. You. you can either vote out Valandris or you can vote out Jesus. And they voted out Valandris. And the guy's like, Glad uh, the one to dude, make it no, alive. I'll go up there be the before Jesus. Escape? And. Here's your first category. Yeah, not a great story. Stage with panhandles. Oh, Tap each answer panhandle? that fits the category and then press submit. What is v West Virginia? I'm sorry, I don't spend a lot time of time on the stop. East Coast. <laughs> it's not completely Let's evident. Let's see the right answers. West Virginia has a panhandle? Okay, I learned something. Locations in Game of Thrones. I don't know. I never watched. Time is almost up. Hey, I got that one right. Muscles in the human body. I mean, one of those is a stellar thing. What the hell is a masseter? Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. Kubler Ross, five stages of grief. 
I mean, all of them? Seems relevant. Hey! All of them! Ooh, That's the chewing you muscle? Stole some yummy life force. Oh, is that the one that gives you that really nice like, jawline? Oh. I might want to work on of the that dark? a little bit. Actual seasons of Survivor. Oh, I love the idea of Survivor Purgatory. Time is almost up. I, but I, none of these would make it to primetime television. Blood versus water really did? That's amazing. Forced no! Force. Fucking snark. Renaissance artwork. Oh god, I don't know the periods of time! Blood types. Oh fuck. Um Yeah, that's right. Let's just call that a fluke. No, it's not. I you, you triggered for me. Andy Warhol art pieces. Oh, I hate this guy. Um Time is almost up. Great. Damn it. One last trap. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. I, I actually know this one. But I have a feeling Snark knows it, too. Yep. fine we have a whole year to get to the fedora but because it was requested we're gonna do a run of rift tracks because i'm kind of in the mood for it and we've got some time so let's do a round of rift tracks and let's see what kind of horrifying christmas movies come our way Yes, we are on fan for Phantasmagoria this Friday. I think we're going to do two because I don't know if one has been ported properly. And also, I watched the playthrough, not the whole playthrough, like the first like two episodes playthrough with, um, what was it, on Game Grumps, where they had the there, voice actor Rift Tracks, the game. of the guy... From Phantasmagoria 2 for like the first two episodes. He was really fun to listen to. And I definitely want to support him. So we're going to play Phantasmagoria 2, which I know I haven't played. My sister hasn't played. And we're going to have some fun with it. And I'm really excited. Oh, 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 oh. Camera, camera, camera. Whoa. There we go. Okay. We're gonna host, and we're gonna pick a riff, and it shall be Vivate. Ready to riff. And the code is Here MCNG, and now I want a pizza. <laughs> She's actually afraid of it. I think she thinks that Phantasmagoria is um, Clock Tower. Uh, so we shall see how she does with it. I think she's going to enjoy it. I watched the first episode of the playthrough. I really enjoyed it. Kind of excited for it. And I think she's going to love it too. Yes, I will tell her about Choice Chamber. Yay! We don't have to play against the bot. All right. God, I Hello, really want Rippers. pizza. In each Blah! Round one. Don't hit me. Woo! What? I'm 
sorry, are you hitting him? Because it does not look like it. Are you the next top riffer? <laughs> okay, that was perfect. Oh my god, that was so perfect. <laughs> Mentos. That would sell Mentos. And the sex is amazing. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. And written under that is the way you will die. Of course. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Wanna threaten a state senator? <laughs> if you want to go to jail. Also, kind of wanna. Got a lot of time to fill here in purgatory. Yeah. You've got a lot of nerve showing your face here. <laughs> Who? Him I or her? Vote, fellow rippers. I know. Like a lot of them are really good. Take your time. I'll just sit here quietly. Oh, the Mentos was good. Oh, I love that you got. God. Oh, Andrew right. Ray. Upsetting the apple cart. Nice. Oh. Okay, you guys picked some really good ones. Round two. Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. He would have to catch up with them later. Good child. I'm sorry, what that was the again. tongue sticking out? To your riff now. Just not. Phil stopped like, to return a book doing? to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. He would have to catch up with them later. Hell yes, it is. Oh, oh wait, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. Oh, sorry, Sal. He would have to catch up with them later. Me at any wedding reception cheese platter. What is a reception cheese platter? Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. He would have to catch up with them later. You will pull my finger. Who said that? Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. He would have to catch up with them later. Can't believe this guy took over Ellen's time slot. On his way. I mean, anyone could. Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. DNS he would have to catch crash. up with them yeah. later. Old timey slang was so dead ass cringe. <laughs> Time to pick the funniest riff. Vote now. God damn it, now I don't want cheese platter. Yeah, <laughs> nice, Andrew. Oh, wow. <gasps> We've got Andrew versus Andrew. Okay, I think I know how we need to kind of solve this after this. We may have to go musical! Round three. Tell me I No! One. Dun dun dun! Okay. Take a deep breath. Yeah, we're going musical after this. Tell me, are you warm, little one? 
What Mary Kate says to Ashley. <laughs> Tell me, are you warm, little one? And she was never seen again. Yeah. Tell me, are you warm, little one? I'm making my own gravy in my pants. Oh. Tell me, are you warm, little one? Remember, kids, Big Brother is watching you. Always. Tell me, are you warm, little one? I was in the can for quite a while. <laughs> Tell me, that explains are you warm, the swelling. Me after a single visit to Cheesecake Factory. With an allergy? Your favorite? Vote now. <laughs> Wow, good job, Emmy. Oh. How does he? How does he? How does he? No, Andrew Ray is still in the lead. Round four. Impressively. Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream? Or because a lake, fish or fucking a it. Pool? Oh, I'm sorry. Because fish beep it's in no it. It's no time, Mama Jama. Into your rip now. I have hiccups. God damn it. Time's almost up. Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream or a lake? Or a swimming pool? I gave up med school, became an actor, and now I'm in this movie. <laughs> Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream? Well done. Or a lake? Or a swimming pool? You reckon we can monetize this? I mean, it's YouTube, so probably. Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream? Or a lake? Or a swimming pool? Or should we find something more important to worry about? Yeah, in this day and age, probably. Do you know why we shouldn't drink water? Unless from a stream you're Flint, or Michigan. A lake or a swimming pool? Ah, uh, suddenly I sympathize with PETA. <laughs> Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream? Or a lake? Or a swimming pool? My pancreas, for some reason. Oh! Ew. Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream? Or a lake? Or a swimming pool? Because I like because to be extreme! And it looks the rifts are in. Time to vote. <laughs> Time's almost up. Nice. Wow. Catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. Oh. Time to bring the funny. Enter your riff now. <laughs> Seriously, sure. What the hell? TikTok people. What a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. I want a well adjusted, totally sane thing to say. <laughs> What a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. Care for some corruption? <laughs> oh, okay, that timed out nicely. 
What a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. Ask Alexa. <laughs> What a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. Sexual harassment. The early years. <laughs> what a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. Did it? Satan has a oh. sillier voice than I imagined. <laughs> What a catastrophe. I can't imagine what could have caused such damage and destruction. They're just as good as condoms, I promise. Okay, we all had a good laugh. Now time to vote. TikTok people, TikTok people. Wow. Shit, did that put him over the top? I think it did. Oh my god, did Andrew get beaten by Andrew? <gasps> that might have just happened. Let's see. Let's see. And the winner is... No way! Oh! Oh! Okay, um, I, I think two adversaries just met each other, and you- <laughs> it's, it's fake news! Oh god, wait, I can't do Trump, hold on, um, I gotta do the hands. And, um, it's, it's fake news! It, it's fake news! I, okay, I gotta work on it. But we are going to do one more for fun. Uh, going back to jackbox.tv where we can all play together for the humanity. Or no, sorry. For democracy. Uh, we are going to play Jackbox 10. All together now. Oh, hold please. There it is. Oh, son of a bitch. Fifth in screen. There we go. We are going to play Dodo Ray Me to bring everyone together for some fun. Yeah. We're going to try to not get in. Indeed. But you are going to have to tell me which song we're going to play by voting for it in the game. The code is WPIA, which sounds like nature. yet another government fucking thing we got to pay for. The first bird that logged in will select a song to All play. Right. The what song are we playing for our outro way. tonight? 1812. Mm, good taste, Emmy. If it's too much pressure, the first bird that logged in can select someone else to be in charge of moving things along. No biggie. Yeah, WPIA in Cincinnati. Okay. So, Andrew Ray, it's nice to know you're about where I am from an age perspective, because, yeah, I definitely grew up watching that. Alright, folks. Ooh, Moonlight Sonata. Definitely Resident Evil-y. I don't know, we're seeing a good amount of... <laughs> row, 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 yeah, like, all the songs. Thank you, Andrew. I don't know, kind of feeling the Moonlight Sonata. Oh, damn it. Boosh! Now that the song is selected, the birds will choose an instrument. These incredible birds can mimic the sounds of many different instruments. 
and they may choose which one to play based on name, sound, or even how difficult the notes <laughs> yeah, are to play, the easy which is all listed That's on the bird's fair. devices. All right. Going if once. If a bird still wants to join, they can still do so. Going Make twice. Make sure all participating birds are logged in. And are Booyah! It's time to sync your device with the game screen. Indeed. After I count down from four, I want you to tap, tap, tap on your device when I say tap, tap, tap. Four, three, two, one, tap, tap, tap. Gotta open that secret chamber. fast I loved it while the notes are being calculated let's reintroduce the band give me on kazoo Lokaku on electric piano yeah I kind of fucked up too Andrew Ray on the beef Stark on Mona Kazoo! Andrew Blossom on DJ Drums! Push the Fish on 80 Synth! Did I mention that these birds have a complicated relationship with a music loving carnivorous plant? If you played your notes accurately, you might survive. And if you did better than that, you just might go all the way to gold.
Well, well, well. Looks like you live to play another day. All your hits and misses evolve into points. Yeah, not bad. Look at that pecking order. Ha! <laughs> Birds hold on to their individual points until the session is over. How many songs are in a session? That's up to you. Ain't no beef Just with my beef. Session when you're ready to wrap things up. Okay, we are going to end it here. Um. Who are the standouts oh, from the yeah, session? Oh yeah, standouts. Longest combo goes to Emmy! Nice job! The heart, but least accurate. Oh! Okay, I did a little better than I thought I did. Winner goes to Snark. Yeah, he's hard to beat. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wrap that up here. Let me go ahead and see. Okay, so I'm gonna head over there. I'm gonna give you guys fair warning. So this is a YouTuber slash Rumbler slash he's on a couple of different platforms. I have enjoyed watching. Um, he cuts a mean right hook, so may not be your cup of tea. But if you're in the mood for some eh, fairly hot strippers, some really good comedy and some really good editing i am gonna head over here if you want to follow me over there um here's the thing his name is adonis paul quite funny this is where i'm going i think he's also on rumble for those of you guys on rumble as well if you love to hit him with a shoot it's been a while since we've raided someone god damn what's our <gasps> What do we put in, in chat when we rate someone? I've forgotten what it is. Is it CNC rate? We haven't done it in a while. Well, if you want to put that in chat, you want to follow me over there. Totally cool. Cocktail raid. That's right. If you love to put cocktail raid in chat, totally cool. If you're like, hey, that isn't my cup of tea, totally understand. We will be back on Friday with the first stream of... Shit, what are we streaming? Um, it's not Clock Tower. Phantasmagoria. Phantasmagoria 2 will be live on there with Sister Cocktails. I will see you over on Adonis Paul in just a moment. I will see you awesome people over there. Bye guys!